Emma has dated a bunch of boys, and I really haven't. <laughs> really? <laughs> Literally, you have grown up in front of our eyes. You are like a grown young lady now. I remember like one of my first interviews being with you guys. I think it was back when I did Remember Me with Robert Pattinson and everything. I was so little. How old were you then? Maybe like eight? I Ten? Around I no there. Idea. Maybe 10 or 11. Around well, there. it's been so fun. And just seeing all of you guys on Jesse, you know, we love the show. You're going into your you guys. fourth season. What do you want to see happen this coming season? We have a lot of fun things happening. We travel to different places, uh, like Hawaii. We have That's the episode. Right. And we also go to Africa in one of the episodes. And Emma's just kind of growing up and finding herself. And she has a job. So. Oh, I love that. And, yeah. and something else I've really loved about the show, even just with Debbie and knowing you guys for all these years, is kind of getting to see you grow up with your characters. And I'm curious to know, when the show is all said and done, what piece of her do you think you'll take with you? Like, what have you learned or taken from your character into your real life? Oh, my gosh. Well, Emma has dated a bunch of boys, and I really haven't in real life. <laughs> it's exclusive. So, yeah, I've taken – I'm never going to – I probably won't date a bad boy like she did. Like, I'm more into, like – the funny, like, goopier guys, I Up guess. Up top for that, So please. I kind of learned Nerds that from always Emma. always finish first, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you. And the style, both your style and the style on the show are to the next level. You are becoming, Aww. like, a total fashion plate. Oh, what are you into right now, style-wise, for yourself? I'm really into, like, the oversized sweaters so much right now. And it's actually chilly here in L.A., which Especially I, inside the studio, but I'm kind of liking it. It is. It has its own <laughs> forecast for the day, so I always know that it's going to be cold on this set, so fall and winter clothes kind of work for this. But um, I'm also really into the cape jackets. Oh, yes. I love those. They're so cozy. Me too. It's like your own Me personal too. blanket wherever you go. Like a Snuggie, except it's acceptable <laughs> for yes. outdoors. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be caught dead it's like in a Snuggie on the red carpet or anything. <laughs> but. <laughs> but a cape will do. Yeah. Um, okay, so getting back to the show. We're almost to our 100th episode. Wow, and that's yeah. incredible. That's I a know. huge accolade. Um, what's your favorite memory when you think back? I, I know it's got to be impossible, but is there anything that really sticks out for you? That's what we were just talking. I was, someone just asked me that question, and there are so many good memories. I'm looking over right now at that picture over there, and it's of us all hugging Kevin, and it's from like one of the first days when we did our first photo shoot. And oh, that's I, so I can't, yeah, I like when we first came here, it was just so amazing. And the sets keep getting smaller and smaller because we all keep growing and growing. Well, if you could have anything happen the close of the season, if you could get in the writer's ear and give them an idea, what would you like to see happen with your character, with Jesse? Where would you like to see her end up? I would like to see Emma sort of moving on to what she wants to do with her career or in her life like I want her to focus more on fashion because she is she she has such a passion for fashion <laughs> but um I want to see her get like an internship somewhere or like at a magazine or something I think that'd be really cool and what about with Jessie who do you think she should end up with or should she just be rolling solo oh I know I love Chris and Pearson in real life but I'm like Tony or Brooks there's two teams it's almost like Edward or Jacob um I think now that she is not getting married to Brooks I kind of want to see her with Tony. If she, if she's not going to be with Brooks, I want her to be with Tony because Tony's such a sweet like guy. And even though he sometimes is a little airheaded, he's he means he's well so, though. He does. He's Tony is he so does cute. Well. I know, and he loves bowling and. Well, Mark and I don't really want, right? Yeah. Um, so many funny people on the show too. I have no idea. And animals, how you guys even keep things going. There's got to be so many bloopers. What's one that really stands out to you? Oh, from this is so funny. We just had a baby giraffe on the show. And yeah, I know we have the craziest <laughs> animals. And um, he is, obs they're obsessed with blondes, I guess, because their moms, you know, they have like the long blonde tails. So I was in a scene with it and it was supposed to be eating, I think it was like Debbie's hair, but it kept, ch kept coming over to me and like eating like chomping on my hair because it's blonde and it was a, that is so it, funny yeah so we and I had to like step out of the scene and they had to and so they had to shoot it without me in the scene you had to put on a brown wig exactly <laughs> so the draft wouldn't it, I was like you just love me for my hair you just want me for my hair oh my gosh well last thing you know you guys have the most dedicated fans out there seriously what yeah. message do you want to give to them going into season four what would you want to tell them um thank you guys so much for watching the entire time and staying with this and basically growing up with us too.
I know. Yeah, your viewers have grown up with you as well. It's crazy. Yeah, it's true. So thank you guys. <laughs> Click right here to check out our interview with Jesse star Debbie Ryan. And if you want even more details on season four, click right over here. And don't forget to subscribe.